Hello all, welcome to part 49 of TestNG training series. In this session, I am going to explain and practically demonstrate a situation where there are multiple test stacks inside TestNG XML file, but only out of this multiple test stacks, few tags are enabled for parallel execution. Okay, either using the parallel is equal to classes or parallel is equal to methods, only few tags out of this multiple test tags in test and XML file are enabled for parallel execution, then what will happen? So let's get started. So where is that? Multiple test tags are there in the test and XML file, but only few test tags are enabled for parallel execution. Okay, this we already have covered in the previous session, but uh, let me specifically cover for this so that you can remember well. And this particular thing may be part of an interview question guys also, okay? This particular thing may be asked in interviews. So we should be especially focused on this, okay? So generally by default, you see there are two test stacks, right? There are two test stacks and none of these test stacks are enabled for parallel execution via classes or methods, okay? Test is equal to parallel is, uh, test is uh, sorry, parallel is equal to classes or parallel is equal to methods is not mentioned for any of these test stacks. In such cases, what will happen? The test that this particular test tags will run in a sequential fan fashion, okay? First, this particular test will run, okay? Uh, in that particular test, this particular class will run first because it is uh, mentioned first and all the methods in this particular class, register class, according to the priority, they will run. After that, login related, uh, uh, login class will run. The test methods which are provided the priority in this login, according to the priority, they will run in a sequential manner one by one. And after this complete test code executed, then second test will start. Test two will start where first first class search will run. The test methods of the search based on the priority will run. And after all the uh, test methods of this uh, search class are completed, then the test methods which belong to the search two will run in a sequential order according to the priority specified for individual test methods inside the search. So everything will happen in a sequential order from top to bottom here. Okay, test classes methods and so on. Okay, so let me run them. Uh, only one thread will be there in this case, guys. Thread one will be created and all the tests will be running on that single thread, you see? Single thread, one after the another. First register, 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 register. You see, as mentioned, register is there. After register, then login, 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 login on the single thread one. And uh, on the same thread, search, search, search. Then after that, search to, search to, search to, as I already explained. But what if you mention for one of the test attack, if you mention, Parallel is equal to parallel is equal to classes and thread count is equal to two. If you mention like this, what will happen? So here also the order will be same, guys. That is under the suit, first test tag will be executed. First, first test tag will be executed and it will check whether this particular test tag is enabled for parallel execution or not. Yes, it is enabled at the class level. So there are two classes. These two classes, test method from these two classes will be running parallelly. Okay, this class will uh, will uh, will uh, reserve one thread slot, and uh, this class will reserve one thread slot. Okay, like that. Okay, register test and login test. Uh, sorry, register class and login class will be allocated to two, two threads. That means test from register will be running on one thread. Test from login will be running on another thread. Two threads will be created and register class related uh, methods will be running on one thread. Login class related threads will be running on another thread. So after all this parallel execution is done, once this particular test is completed, the next test will start where parallel execution is not there. So sequentially it is going to happen in a sequential manner, guys. These threads will be deleted. These two, two threads which are created for parallel execution will be deleted and this class methods will be executed in the same order according to the priority mentioned in a sequential order on the thread one, okay? We'll see that. We can customize this parallel execution of the class at the test tag level and uh, only this uh, register, will, uh, register will run on one thread, login will run on one thread, login methods will be running on one thread, you see? Login is running on 23, register is running on 24. Register 24, login 23, 23, login, register 24, login 23, 23 login, okay? Register is running on 24 thread, login is running on 23 thread. And after this particular test tag is completed, okay, after this uh, test tag is completed, then these two threads will be deleted. 23 and 24 thread slots will be deleted and 
the next test will start where no threads need to be created the default thread one will be there where all the test methods of this search and search class and search will be running in a the sequential order one by one okay according to the priorities and according to the order mentioned in the test and xml file they'll be running the same thing happens if you provide parallel is equal to methods in one of the test tags okay only for this particular test tag methods is there that means that means methods from any of these two classes will occupy these th two threads for example if i give five here okay what happens five threads will be created five thread slots will be created and methods from this register and login okay there are four methods in register and five methods in login can occupy any of these slots okay total nine are there nine out of nine five slots will be allocated to five tests and remaining four will wait for their turn and once these slots are free the four will be executed okay so here five threads will be created guys five threads will be created and these methods will be running parallelly here classes are not running parallelly or tests are not running parallelly here methods of this particular class are running parallelly guys and only for this particular test tag it is applicable for this test tag no parallel execution okay the sequential execution will continue uh, all these five threads which got uh, created for this uh, test uh, this particular test tag right all all these five thread threads like 23 22 whatever that will 22 to 24 or 20, uh, 22 to 27 or whatever the thread threads that got created for this particular test tag will be deleted immediately after this test uh, test stage even is completed the next test will be executed where on single thread known as one all the method test methods of this classes according to the order and given priority they will be running okay let's see that First, all these test methods of this will be allocated to the five threads. You see, from register, from register, one of the method in the uh, test method in the register is running on 25. Again, another method in register is running on 23. You see, the thread is changing. That thread number is changing. There will be five threads created, guys. You can see that 22, 23, 24, 25, 26. Up to 26 are there. 22 to 26. Five threads are created. All the test methods are allocated to these thread slots based on their, uh, you know, right, combinations and all. And once register and login tests are completed as part of this, okay, after this test tag is completed, for the next test tags, the search and search two related tests will be running sequentially on the thread one, okay? All these thread threads will be deleted and uh, on a single thread, one by one, as per the mentioned order, sequential order, they will be running one by one, okay? So, this is what happens, guys. Is there anything left out uh, that I have to cover? Threads will be destroyed after parallel execution of the test tag, guys. Okay. Immediately after the parallel execution of the test tag, either it will be test is equal to uh, parallel, uh, parallel is equal to methods or parallel is equal to classes. Okay. Threads will be deleted for the next tag. Okay. Next tag, if parallel execution is not there, threads will be deleted and only on single thread one, the remaining uh, methods will be executed. Okay. Classes or methods, and anything will be executed. So this is all about this session, guys. And this may come as an interview question. So you should be careful. Like, uh, they may be giving you this kind of structure and they'll be asking you like uh, how they will be executing. Okay, you should be in a position to answer. Okay, five threads will be created. Test methods from all these uh, classes will be allocated to these threads. Once this test is completed, next test will start only after this test is completed. Till then, none of the methods from these uh, classes will be running. Once all this parallel execution is done, next test will start. And then according to the decided order of these classes and uh, decided order of the test methods inside these classes, the execution will happen sequentially on the third one. That's what you have to answer. So hope guys, uh, you understood this session. So that's all for this session. In the next session, I'm going to answer another test ng topic for you. Till then, see you. Bye-bye.